Hi, everybody. This is Mother, and this is... Project Takaron. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong way. <laughs> and we are going to do an exquisite mini unboxing, because these are the figures that we gave away for our Alien Day uh, celebration. And I, I wanted... Because I haven't opened my own yet, so I thought I'd do an unboxing with you guys. And... Yeah, Maitland's gonna be headed home this afternoon, so I thought, like, yeah, we could do something together. Woo! <laughs> yeah, probably gonna fall asleep on the plane. Yeah, oh, it's very tired. I'm sure it's been a, a whirlwind, um, a whirlwind, sorry, <laughs> trip. Yeah. So I've given him the Xenomorph to unbox, and I'm gonna be unboxing the Neomorph. Yep. So there you go. Alrighty, let's get into try it. Try not to cut yourself. <laughs> I'll try my best. No <laughs> Alright. Looks like we've got Alrighty. That's what you get with the I don't know why like I was just saying this to Maitland. Why is the face hugger with the Neomorph? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Should have like spores or something. Like he's he suggested spores would be the best thing. Yeah, like the little uh, little things that, come in, that shoot out the, the the moats or whatever. Yeah. That would have been cool to have like a little bundle of them. You could set up like a little environment. What's that one? A piece of wood. Um. Oh no, it's a grate. It's a grate. So I think we can link these two together and make them fight. Oh really? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, we got some stuff in the back here too. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, so in the back, we have this little card, a little art card. I think they're Ooh, the same. They're the same. That's pretty awesome. And then behind that, we have. Oh. Uh, it's like a little collection of their different. So we've got um, the different types of aliens, and they've solved you. It's called cool Alien Warrior. Ah. Oh. They got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they've got like the APC and the power loader little figures. They've got the Raven on there. Do they? Oh, yeah, yeah. on the back. And the Crusher. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay, so this one is the Covenant Xenomorph. I think you can see that one. And you can tell that it's the Covenant Xenomorph because it looks nothing like a true Xenomorph. Just want to say hi to Ben Scottford. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this impromptu stream. Alright, his little hand fell out. So, like, in the box that comes with his little kissy face. <laughs> and then you can swap it for this head with the with the teeth. So I think I'm going to swap the heads over. I'll see how easy it is. Yeah. Oh! This head comes right off. Oh no. <laughs> Dropping parts here and there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Little angry Neomorph. So you could like pull it. Just want to see how poseable he is. He put his head right back. It's, it's a bit limited in that sense for the head. But I'm going to make him do that little like crouching thing. Oh, double jointed knees. Ooh, that's good. This one's like too thin and it keeps falling off. So I'm gonna have to do it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice and tight there. All right, so you can connect the little uh, like grates that come with these creatures to make like a little diorama. And then they have little holes where the bottom of the feet go in, I would presume. I don't know why, but it comes with like little interchangeable hands for the, the Neomorph. Yeah, and the... It's so tiny. Proto... Uh, sorry. The <laughs> Covenant <laughs> Xenomorph also has them. I'm just going to try to take off his hands. These are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Even the little jaw moves. Look. Oh, what? Yeah. It doesn't do that on the Neomorph, unfortunately. Oh, the, the pharyngeal jaw comes out too. Oh, really? I can't grab it because I've got two bigger fingers, but look. It's like in a little holder there and you can pull it out. Oh my god. I'm going to have to get some tweezers. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to try it because I'll probably end up breaking it. I'm trying to put these alternate hands on. So that's your 
little xenomorph there. I bet it's not working. <laughs> and you have actually got... It's like, again, it's like a little... Oh, no, it's not. I thought the dome was clear, like the NECA figures. Oh. Uh, but it's actually just paint. Tonight. I'm just going to have to give it a bit of a paint job where uh, it looks a bit more translucent. Yeah, yeah. I usually use, um, like, uh, silver. Oh, yeah, to help, like... Oh, uh, but it's got... It does have, like, the little... Maybe I just need some clear nail polish to make it more polished. So, as for this one, I don't know where it's supposed to clip in, because it doesn't actually... The Neomorph's feet has a little hole in the bottom. Yeah. This one doesn't. What the fuck? <laughs> so, I don't know... You've got to just rely on the thing being able to stand up. Maybe maybe the Neomorph is supposed to hold him up when they fight. I guess you could help him up with the tail. Oh, maybe not. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> trying to make oh, this work. Go. Okay. Alright, I'm just trying to get his foot on. Let me see those hands there. Because I tried swapping a hand over, and the, the grip is slightly different. Yep. No. You can't even... You can't even put his phone on. It's like... Oh! Jeez. <laughs> it into space. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what... Yeah. That's some sort of mistake. Yeah, I have no idea. Hold on. I'm just trying to see if it's going to... Even on. the one that has holes doesn't work properly. <laughs> yeah, like maybe they didn't... Or maybe it's supposed to be for something else. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's weird to have it included if it's not for the specific creature. doesn't fit on the on the thing. It's all right. So here's the near morph. I've changed its head over. I've changed one hand over. What I've noticed is that it's just the grip distance that's different. So this one makes both grips really wide and it has a small grip. So I've got one for the left and the right. And there's not much of a difference between uh, the two and how the hands grip. This one's pretty much the same as what you just said for the Neomorph, except its fingers are like bent back slightly. I wonder if I could put the Xenomorph's hands <laughs> it's like on the gloves. Neomorph. <laughs> like he's wearing gloves. Like Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> just what I was thinking just then. Put, them on, put the white ones on these guys. <sighs> Just look. Look, look. <gasps> look! It don't matter if you're black or white. Ooh. <laughs> really like, that's like the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give him my hand. <laughs> is, is it on the left hand or the right hand anyway? Where's oh, the glove? I can't remember. Hey, Claire. <laughs> should look up Michael Jackson. Which glove? Which hand did he wear his glove on? So we can be completely 100% accurate. <laughs> With this, like, alien covenant recreation of Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so funny. I want to put the other other hand on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm very scared to articulate it too much because it is very delicate. There we go. Right hand. <laughs> right hand. What is right? <laughs> ah! Sorry, it's just a bit of silliness right now. So do you just pull... Pull it off. Like, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for breaking your toy. Alright. And then we'll give him this open hand so he can kind of grab his crotch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go, you can pose him. Alright, this is great. <laughs> this is also totally ridiculous, but it's fun. Didn't realize this is what I would be doing when I came over. Ah. <laughs> uh, Lots of, lots of fun. Um, so won't hold it, it's a bit tricky getting the hands back on. And he tipped his hat, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He did <laughs> I don't know if I can get his arm up that far. And I don't think I have any tiny hats that I can give. <laughs> give Damn it! That's... Where, where does the alien wear its hat? On the front? On the back? Yeah. In on the this middle? Bit, a big hat? Yeah, like those memes. <laughs> on its mouth. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's great. So yeah, you have to totally buy both of the exquisite minis, not just one. I mean, they're they're basically like a if you got a shrink ray and shrunk down the Necker versions, 
Except the NECA versions did come with a couple of extra bits. So, like, it would have been cool to get, like, a mini egg, mini overmorph. Yeah. To have um, with this one. And then, as you said, the face hugger came with the Neomorph, mm. which really doesn't make any sense and yeah. should have came with the Xenomorph. Right. Um, so, <laughs> can you make these guys kind of look like they're fighting? Yeah. I think if I bend his legs a little bit more, he might stand up there. <laughs> <laughs> How good does that look? Put it. Oh, maybe I have to bend it a bit back more, and then we'll move the camera. So, because I don't think we can lift this up. See, the near morph right. is part partly the way there. Move you guys. And this and one can... is the perfect organism. Have a look. At... Oh, which way? This way. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. still got his hand in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so so yeah, it's pretty good. Like you've got the the little poseable grate thing right here. You've got the little hands and like the interchangeable head. I think the interchangeable head kind of makes up for the fact that the xenomorph has this pharyngeal jaw that can pop out. I mean, there's only so much they can do with articulation in such a, oh, such, a <laughs> such a little creature. And and you get this little face hugger with um. With the Neomorph, which, uh, again, does not go... And it almost looks like it's designed to actually sit around another figure. Like, it looks like it's ready to... Yeah, face. it looks like it's ready to face hug something. I wish they did an Aurum. That would have been good. Yeah, an Aurum leader. It would totally fit on Hicks, though. Or Quintero. Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's like, made of a soft plastic. So mm. you could probably almost fit it around anyone and just wrap the tail. Like, look... I kind of want to make them into earrings. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Alright, hang yeah, on. Yeah, see if you can fit it around the near Alright, I'm gonna put the camera back because. Oh, it works perfectly. Really? <laughs> yes, it's almost like it's designed to go on the near What would it what would it do? Like what would it what sort know. of alien would come out of a Because the facehuggers never attack a xenomorph, obviously, because they can differentiate. Yeah. But I feel like they would maybe attack a neomorph because in early drafts they, the the neomorph and the The Xenomorph had a fight, didn't it? Yeah, it got taken out, which was like a bummer. That's why, because <laughs> there was two neomorphs on the planet. Yeah. We saw one get killed, and the second one was supposed to have a fight before they were trying to get onto the lander. Mm. And I don't, know, I don't know why they took that out. Um, so so I, as you know, I went to Odd Studio and I spoke to, um, the guys at Odd about what was filmed at, um, Covenant. And what wasn't used and stuff, and they told me that they they did the uh, neomorph and xenomorph fight yeah. in practical suits, and it just looks stupid. Really, that's a because shame. they're rubber suits. They started to catch on each other. Yeah, and um, basically it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hands gone flying somewhere, uh, and and basically it just yeah the the suits stuck to each other. They were trying to fight, and it just looks really bad I suppose it, like it a bad good. wrestling match so <laughs> did... oh, what, i know where it is what color i found it oh there it's all the way back got it okay <laughs> so all right we had a technical difficulty we were good <laughs> so yeah <laughs> you want to try popping little neo's head off and putting putting this one on yeah so it's got small grips and big grips. I'll put this one. He's on. missing a hand. Do you want to put another one on? Or? Yeah, I tried putting that one on. That was the one that fell. Oh yeah. There we go. Pop. They're not. They're not as ball end as the. Yeah, I might ones. need to shape that one. Um. They feel like if you do it too much, it might actually fall off. Just. So, and these um. Considering the the head can't like stretch back. Uh. On the alien, it's its smokestacks are really far apart, as if you could pose it back that way. What so is it? The, the smokestacks, like these oh, yeah. parts here, the pipes. The dorsals. Yeah, you can't move the head back like you can on the necker. Yeah, yeah. Even though this looks like it's got space, so you could do that. I want to see if it can do the the twerking pose. <laughs> It has to, otherwise it's not a true one, is it? Oh, wow. Hold on. 
I've done this. I feel like that was something they did in design. They're like, it has to be able to do this. Everyone's going to want this position. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing is, I, I believe that they kind of made it do this sort of like the dog leg stance because it was like very unnatural. Uh, well, it's it, more bug like. It's like a, 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 like a. It's like a mantis almost. Like yeah. Like so, a grasshopper. Like you know, its back legs how they arch up like that. That's right. So it just. So we can't really. We can't really. <laughs> his hand popped off. Um, we can't really put him into the same position as the. I think the leg, like the legs, came out, but it's way too flimsy. I think to be able to do something like that. You don't want to break it. Uh, well, well, unboxings is about pushing the limits, isn't it? So, it's pretty close. <laughs> that's kind of close um, to do that. So that's the positioning. I mean, that, that, <laughs> that could be his position while he's banging his head against the window. Yeah, like the boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, that's pretty good. Like, <laughs> look at the legs on that. I mean, look, it's not bad articulation for something that's like three and a half inches. Yeah, and in Australia, uh, these will set you back around... Um, 40, 40, 40 bucks yeah so it's not too bad they're just cheaper than a like a NECA figure because most NECA figures are between either 40 or 60 dollars depending on which one you get yeah and it's it's a pity that it costs so much here yeah. um, for that but yeah can't really be helped when they're produced manufactured in America and then they have to be shipped here no the funny thing is that they're produced in, in sorry China then oh, they're really? shipped to America, and then they're shipped to Australia. Oh, so they could, just, <laughs> they could just skip that extra step and just ship their own selection to here. Yeah, they could, but they don't. <laughs> so annoying. It is frustrating for us Aussies, but, you know, that's, that's... I mean, like you see on Twitter, they've got people that have got necker sections in Target. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I would like, kill to have that here. Yeah, that would be amazing. Or even like when Toys R Us was closing down in the US, they yeah, didn't, they they didn't even have, have an alien could... section or NECA section for um, stuff like that here. I know. They should have just gone, all right, let's take all that stock over to Australia. Yeah. Because it's still in Australia, but no, they chose not to. So it, it wasn't too hard to repose him back to... Um, the way he was and the detail on him is is pretty sick I mean the paint job is all right they've um hold on I'll hold it close so it'll focus on him focus come on there we go so you can see the paint job on him and it's pretty decent he's got kind of got that wet look you can see his dome has got the little stripes on it I think they're a bit too uniform it doesn't look very natural yeah they so. haven't been blended very well yes yeah, so I might I might get a pen out to color it color that near was pretty similar again they've done it like a glossy so it's oh, where is it gonna focus there. hold on <laughs> <laughs> i'll just say oh, there we go is yeah focus yep that's close yeah. i mean yeah so again it's got the wet glossy look that the near sort of had like when it was younger paint works not too bad i mean Again, you have to uh, temper your expectations with such a little figure. Mm. They do have like the little blood blotches though, which is pretty cool. Like yeah. where it's pulled on it from when it's just hasn't had a bath, you know, <laughs> since it was born. But yeah, it looks pretty good. They even managed to do like the real tiny little spines on the back of the creature. I'm trying to get the pharyngeal jaw out. Oh yeah. I can't. You but can. it but it can it can come out. I just yeah, my yeah, nails I can't do it. <laughs> it's a shame this little jaw. That was a wasted opportunity on the necker figure too. Yeah. I was really hoping you'd be able to like like the bottom would be hinged, sort mm. of like the that one, and you could like pull it out. So I'll just grab the camera so you guys can kind of see what we see. And it can stand. It's got the tail and it's leaning on the tail and it can stand pretty well. And I suppose that makes up for it not being able to uh, clip into the actual diagram. Yeah, on these I don't know. Eggs. I don't know what those things are. Um, all right, I will let you talk about the figurines for a bit. I'll shift the camera down so people can kind of see. 
Well, I mean, there we go. Let me um, go grab your ones off the thing, and I'll do a little yeah. bit of comparison. I'll just get my son because he's crying. <laughs> Okay, so when we're looking at these two, I mean these, most of these NECA figures are about 7 inches I'm pretty sure, 7 to 8, I think the the base is a 7 inch figure for most humans but these are in the same scale so they just get labelled as that but they might be 7 or 8 inches, it depends. Neomorph. I mean, it's slightly more grey than the white of the Necker figure. I'm just trying to get the focus on that. There we go. So you can see that this one's a lot darker than the Neomorph here. It actually looks... The Neomorph in the Necker figure looks a lot more like the adult version from the film, where it's lost its glossy look from when it was born, and it's now a lot more rough-skinned and it looks like uh, it's old and withered onto the actual I don't know whether it's an endoskeleton of the creature or something it's also lost a lot of the redness from its body unlike this one so I, this one could almost be like the younger version before it maybe shed its skin and has uh, the blood blotches still there whereas this one is like the the elder Neomorph and then with the uh, Xenomorph, um, it's fairly similar. I mean, they've tried to best as they can recreate the look of the dome structure with that. And I guess a certain amount of light does reflect off that, whereas this dome is actually hollow and has a, an actual material under it if you were to lift that up. This one is a solid piece where they've painted it. So it's sort of like... I mean, a little bit of glossy paint would fix that up anyway. They've done a pretty good job on the modelling of the arms and the legs and even the torso to get it almost exactly looking like the Necker figure. If you look on its chest area or its lower abdomen area, you can see that's almost the exact same um, patterns. So I don't know if they uh, <laughs> shared models, these two, but they're fairly similar. Again, the colorings are slightly bit off, but can't be expected to be too. Something interesting that sort of restricts this one from being able to do the little uh, pose that uh, mother was showing before is this one seems to have legs that have this little I'll show you a little bit closer up that has these little arches on the side of the legs if you can see that I'll see if I can get it in focus there's a little arch on the leg where the leg comes up to the body and then turns out. So when you're moving the actual leg, that restricts its movement to a degree. Like you can only move it as far as that will connect to the body. Whereas the Necker figure um, <laughs> sort of had this has this weird little fleshy butt area <laughs> where the leg can actually move up into that and move a little more and have a bit more articulation by actually going underneath these muscle tissues, if you can see what I mean there. Like it actually moves up into that area instead of being caught like this one is on the actual back of the creature. But besides that, I mean, compared to the Necker figures, it's not really a competition, but they are pretty good for what they are. There's a little bit of painting they could do in between the joints so that you don't see them as much, especially on the back side of these. But really, 
The only, I was just saying the only thing that really restricts this one from being able to do the same pose mm -hmm. as this one is if you look on these legs, yeah. they have this same little like bony protrusion mm. that comes up. So they've done that on this figure, mm. which restricts its movement. Yeah. Whereas on the neck figure, it covers it. It um it can actually move up into that material because mm -hmm. it's already underneath it. So, yeah. Well, I talked about them for a bit. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good. I think you're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> um, one of the things that I'll set those back up. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I like about uh, these is like what um, Maitland has said. They're just really affordable for what they are. Like, neckers are nice. Um, but if you like these little tiny um, doll shape ones, and they're like, they're doll size. So if you've got doll house furniture, <laughs> <woo! laughs> I think I've got some chairs that these guys can sit in to make it look like they're in a talk show or something. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I, I do really love the double joints. Um, it just, On the knees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it just lets you do so much more. Whereas I feel like there's a limitation sometimes when it's just uh, the single ball joint and it doesn't have much movement. And also like that the, the abs on the Neomorph is like slightly... You can put the head back by putting the back backwards. Um, and I think you can do that on... On the Covenant one, not so much. Like, a little bit of movement to the left and the right. But... Something they do have over the neck of figures is they're a lot more flexible. Yeah. They're a lot less stiff. Like, I'm always scared moving the neck of figures that I'm going to snap something. I always give them a warm bath before I move them. Really? Yeah. The, the warm water, or, like, close to hot water, yeah. loosens up the um, plastic material. Oh, I'd never thought to do that before. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, on this... Uh, Facebook group called Alien Collectors and they have all sorts of like different uh, alien collectibles uh, and people who are experienced with them and you talk about necker figurines and they always always talk about using a hair dryer or hair dryer sorry to um to make the figures more poseable or <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely have a lot more fun with these guys let me see if I can do the same thing <laughs> It's like going down a really big water slide. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, yeah, I've... Oh, the leg pops off really easy. I wonder if we could swap legs. Can we swap legs? I feel like you could. I mean, let's see. Is it like a little ball joint or is it like a solid one? It's a, it's a little ball joint. Okay, I'll try and be gentle then. There we go. Okay. These are actually a lot easier to remove the necker figures too. <laughs> like, oh, it's I'm, not I'm the same definitely... size. Oh, yeah, it's a lot bigger. But at least we can swap hands. That's kind of cool. There we go. He's had uh, he's had cybernetic enhancement, <laughs> body <laughs> modification. Dave and spit at it. Yeah. I can't put his leg on. He's just one legged. Um, the ball joints on this one are uh, a lot bigger than the holes that are available on the Covenant um, Neomorph. He get China. Hmm? Oh, higher, higher oh, toys. Oh, so higher nice. toys make these. Um, so that's just my stupid pronunciation. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've I've made my um, Covenant Zeno like too too flexible as well, and and I think there's something you could do to rough up the joints so that they're not so loose. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like you could take them off and put some sort of cover over them as well. Yeah. To create a bit more of a... I mean, you could always, like, spray paint the ball joint or, like, paint the ball joint or something with a brush to add a few extra layers of mm. material. And then you can kind of, like, sand it, I guess. Yeah. 
That way you're not damaging the actual plastic, just the top layers. Oh, I suppose I should probably put his leg back on. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, no, they're pretty good. As you said, for 40 bucks, I don't know. For Australia, 40 bucks is pretty good. Yeah. For something like this. I think that then it would be like uh, 20 bucks in the US. Yeah, like maybe 20, 25. Yeah, so that's pretty mm. good. So we, we thoroughly recommend these. These have been a lot of fun just playing with yeah. um, and, and not specifically posing. Like with um, with Mega Figurines, yeah. uh, you've got a lot of like uh, hobby photographers who um, uh, take really amazing photos like uh, oh my God. Perara, Peria Labs, Peria Labs, I think it is, uh, on, um, on, stand up on Twitter. Hey, Steve. <laughs> um, and, and he takes amazing photos of the, his Necker figurines. Um, but I, I'm always like faffing around, making like joke posts, putting um, <laughs> dolls' dresses on my xenomorphs, uh, and, and I blame Alicia um, for that. She is a uh, alien obsessive. If anyone follows her on Twitter as well, and um, she's got a lot of uh, Necker figurines, and she dresses them up in like little outfits and stuff. <laughs> Come on, dude! What are you doing to me? Its, it's tail was a bit lower. Before. Yeah, I wish its tail was a little bit. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't twist it out like that. Maybe it was just. So there's there's a wire in here, so you can kind of like Mind shape it. it to a degree. Like the end here, there's no wire, so it's kind of like loose. It's kind of like got a little piggy wiggle um, <laughs> curl. But on here, you can bend it up or bend it down. And it was bent down before, so it could support the figure. And just by the way, these are in one eighteenth scale. Yeah, and this is, but we're not expecting this to be like a full-on serious review of toys. There's people out there who are trained to do that. Yeah. This was just a fun thing that we wanted to do together. <laughs> Please um, don't anyone take <laughs> offence in the way that we review stuff. <laughs> but this is just, yeah, this is just. Two fans enjoying um, alien toys, and uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do some like battle poses and stuff later. Did you want them back in the box? Um, maybe not these ones. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want me to put the little but, but hands the, back in the box? Yeah, ones? we'll put the little hands back. I'll put the little Neomorph's head back. Maybe I'll put this little bitey teeth on. All the little bits that could get lost very easy. Or yeah. kids could get a hold of. I really like the detail, um, like you said, the blood around the back of the spikes. Yeah, I was saying, it's almost like a young... Like, not much younger, but like a, it's like a pre... Uh, Adolescent. Yeah, like it's before it's shed, it's top layer of skin. It's mm. still that um, wet, slimy, protective layer with the blood on it. Because yeah. if you look at the Necker one, like it could just be a discrepancy, but the Necker one doesn't have any of that blood staining or anything like that. So mm. it's like it's shed that top layer of glossy skin, and now it has like the withered skin. Yeah. But I don't know. I could just be. I always look too much into these things. So. <laughs> I like how it looks like a, yeah, like the old man. It's got like really um, wrinkly skin. Yeah. Old man Zeno. that box we'll put these back that one there I mean it would be pretty cool I don't know if these guys have done any out there I mean they've done a lot of the colonial marines ones mm. I don't know if they've done like Deacon or yeah and, and this the, the box art the back of the box is this little um card which is from um, Dane Hallett's artwork that he did for uh, Alien Covenant, which is in David's drawings as well, so... Which is an amazing, uh, little bundle of art. Yeah. Pretty cool canon source, too. I love the canon books and novels and stuff like that. Yeah, like, the thing is, I don't even know if it's canon. Like, it, it is in-universe. It's in-universe. It's canon. But, but you it's, can't it's take everything in it too seriously, because it's from David's point of view. Yeah, and David, everyone knows that He's David's an unreliable liar. source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I had people say, like, oh, it's it's not canon. I'm like, well, it is canon. It, it's in-universe canon book, but just don't take anything in it too seriously. Because it's like, I don't know, it's David sitting in his lab while he's breaking down slowly over ten years. 
and he's just writing random stuff. It's really funny because, like, these are aliens, right? But yeah. on the back, you see, it says Predator, trademarked. See, uh, copyright 2017. Oh, yeah. Why does it say Predator? It's an alien figurine. Unless it's under the same IP. I don't think it is. Is that a mistake? Because I'm pretty sure Alien is under the Aliens IP. Yeah, so... There we go. <laughs> I don't know why they would do that for... Um, it's probably just a mistake. The people who wrote the book back of the box probably didn't realise. Yeah. Well, at least at least they got like most of the stuff right. And, and these little figurines are just so cute. Oh, they're pretty good, really. <laughs> so yeah, that is our unboxing uh, review of the Exquisite Minis. And I believe we have uh, two winners that will be receiving them um, uh, eventually when we manage to post them off. I've got a lot of prizes to post off. We just can't remember who they are right now. <laughs> yeah. There is quite a lot of winners. Yeah. Uh, like a whole box full. Just, there we go. That's all the stuff that I need to post and that's not even the other stuff that's here. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton. Yeah. So you got to be patient, people, who are getting uh, free prizes from Utani. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not hoarding them and keeping all the prizes for myself. They're going out to... Even though it's very tempting. Oh, it is. All the time. <laughs> um, it's it's really fun to give away to fans who don't get to meet all of the really awesome people who are involved in the franchise. Yeah. I'm so lucky to um, live kind of close to <laughs> Maitland. On the same continent. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got um, people like Tristan Jones, who's really like yeah, engaging so... with the fandom. Yeah. There's so many people that I didn't actually know that are involved in the Alien Universe that live in Australia. It's yeah. so unusual. Ev Shippard, um, uh, Wayne Hag, we've got uh, Adam Johansson Odd at Odd that. Studio. Yeah, you have to go to Odd Studio. Yeah, I'm going to try and... I'll, um, I'm going to persuade my way in. I will CC you into an email okay. with Adam. And right, I'll, I'll see if I can organise for you to go when, when they're not too busy and, and have you there. Yep. You need to do a, a, a like one of those kissy face poses with the <laughs> with the nail because I wanted to do that but I forgot because I was like completely freaking out when I was there. Yeah, I'll blow on its nose and I'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, that should be good. Um, and you have to like have one of those like looks like you're gonna like tongue kiss Hallett who's going on <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to do a whole bunch of funny stuff, um, and they were going to totally let me do it, but I was, I was too scared. I mean, once I got into the creature shop, I was like, I froze up. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, we'll see how I go first. <laughs> I might end up the same as you. Yeah. Let's let's hope that you get to hold an egg or something. Um, oh, that'd be awesome. I don't know what sort of condition they're in now because it's been a while, and yeah, yeah. things things that get used for movies, um, that they, they're get usually recycled all the time. Yeah, and they're they're. They just need to last for as long as the movie lasts. They're not made to last forever. Yep. So we'll have to make it quick, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Maitland uh, Project Asheron will be doing his Alien Day giveaway once he gets back to Sydney, uh, because it's just easier to do it than trying to do it on the road. I might even do it here after yeah. this. If cool. That's alright. Yeah. Totes. It's going to be a short video. I mean, it's just going to be <laughs> be me trying to... I keep knocking them over. <laughs> not Sorry, get too guys. excited. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to put them over here. And like, kind of flattish. They can sleep. There we go. It's nap time. They can spoon each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, if you guys aren't aware, you can go tune into Project Asheron's channel. Let me just grab a link for that you got to do it on youtube yes i have like 125 tabs that pop yes, up I see that. <laughs> every time i open up my window because <laughs> yutani is on facebook twitter tumblr instagram <laughs> and um reddit soundcloud youtube oh you're still going yeah Podbean. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah we have so, Acheron's on Twitter, YouTube, Discord. That's about where it is. You say it differently to me. I say Acheron. 
And you say Acheron. Yeah, I don't... Which is the right way to say it. <laughs> I... This is like the, the Gilsey Gickley... I think, I think it's <laughs> the other Acheron. Night. I don't know where I... I didn't really know how to pronounce it. I think in... Alien... Aliens? When they're on the planet, I think someone says Acheron, maybe? Or maybe they don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's probably where I got it from. I probably looked it up on Google and the. I've been saying it wrong all this time. <laughs> I, I learned about. Um, I don't even know whether anyone says it in Aliens. They all refer to it as uh, I've LV 426. The way you say it, mate, is the traditional Greek pronunciation. Okay, yes. I am a. <laughs> I am Greek. <laughs> Part Greek. I am. Um, it can be said either way. Yeah. It can? can? Oh, okay. I mean, because it doesn't matter. Potato, I, potato. I, I learned about it in high school. Yeah. Um, there's uh, all the like actual, like, Gustav Doré's Gust, uh, Gustav Doré's um, a mezzanine prince. Yeah. Um, and they do like the river of, river of fire and river of pain, and pain yeah. which is a- Asheron. And that's what my teacher said. So I've been yeah, saying right. Asheron since then. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to change for no one. <laughs> yeah, don't. I don't care. <laughs> So I've um, just given you a link to Project Asheron's uh, Acheron? Acheron's YouTube. <laughs> you don't have to change the way you say it. I know. <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, okay. Just doing it the other way. Uh, and, and then you can go see his um, Alien Day giveaway on there. And he'll be uh, broadcasting uh, from um, my place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether you'll see a uh, film. It'll probably just be my voice like usual. Unless... Well, if you do film, you can borrow my camera and then you can use the alien shelf as a background. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because I had everyone say, uh, face reveal, like when you post yeah. that photo on Twitter and I'm like, oh yeah, no one's ever seen my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't see your face till you, um, rocked up at my house and we were going to go to, uh, to the Asta. So... Yeah, I know. I, I'd, I'd never even thought about it. I'm like, surely someone knows what I look like. <laughs> and like, no one did. Yeah, that was the same when... Um, Everyone's like, oh, that's him. That was the same for Alien Theory. I had never seen him before until he posted his face on Twitter. I had seen... He posted... He has a second channel that... I can't remember what it's called, but he does, like, a <laughs> vlog. Oh, And he right. had one video on there and that. And I was really surprised to see... Like, <laughs> it's so weird. You don't... You can't picture someone's face from their voice. You always get it wrong. Or yeah. at least I do, anyway. Yeah. I can never pick what someone looks like from their voice, because I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, and then and then Mr. H did his whole face reveal, and everyone was like, so like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's also weird. Yeah. I didn't think Mr. H look, would look like that at all. With I, his voice and stuff. Yeah. Because it's so deep. Yeah. You think he'd look like, more like Barry White. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <sighs> And then, some, and then he's some like young bodybuilder. Hey, three D punks! Yeah, you're you're late to the stream. We've already spoken about the figurines. Look, they're they're already spooning, <laughs> not spooning. Sorry, they're they're uh, they're having intimate times. <laughs> um, and that's the beauty of your little what are they called? Exquisite, 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 minis. exquisite minis. They're pretty exquisite. I like that. They are pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, warding choking hazards. Yeah, no shit. Like, the hands just pop off. Yeah, they're tiny. <laughs> they're tiny, too, so... And you're right, the, the mouth can come right out, because they've got a picture of it. Yeah, yeah, I right saw out. it. I knew that. I knew that I'm going to go get my tweezers, so I can get the mouth Are out. you going to do it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. going to do it. I'll be right back. No worries. Talk up a storm. <laughs> talk up a storm. I don't know what to talk about. Can you find any? Uh, Look at this mechanical keyboard. I'm definitely going to get a mechanical keyboard for my laptop. Yeah, you need to. Oh, I'll get. I won't even use my regular keyboard. Just set it on top. Yeah. I saw someone doing that on Reddit, actually. That's the only way I would get a. Uh, Consum- 
considering the con- the position that you have these creatures in a choking hazard is a real concern. <laughs> that that wasn't me. That was that was three D punks. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, what's that? It is an Easter egg. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright. Let me let me do this xenomorph surgery. So just (laughs) (laughs) It's very uh it's it's really stuck in there. Yeah. Oh there we go, it's starting to come out a little bit. I hope you don't pull it all the way out. There we go. There we that's, go. That's pretty close. Yeah. So there we go. It comes out about that much. Oh, well, that that's as much as I want to try to move it. So that's pretty decent for um, a tiny little figurine to have a, the pharyngeal jaw to pop out. Yeah, I think that's the limit of it. So yeah. Say ah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there it is, the high minis. Uh, but I needed tweezers to do that. So <laughs> yeah, that's the only downside about that. It's very cool that it's able to do that, but it is very difficult to get it out. Yeah, which is a little bit of a shame. But anyway. They still managed to get the texture on the pharyngeal jaw as well, like the oh, little the zigzagging. Oh wow! And they they even painted the teeth properly, which yeah, is like the usually... teeth are even like the silvery. Yeah, usually they've done a really good job there. Oh, oh here we go! Here comes my perfect. We're gonna organism. have a new visitor. <laughs> Your perfect organism. That's great. <laughs> this is my little belly burster. <laughs> hey! Oh, he likes aliens too, but you know what he likes. He likes the flugels. <laughs> <laughs> like mother, like son. There we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what a cutie. Don't you love the mind of a kid? Yeah, they're adorable. When they're not screaming. <laughs> so entertained by like anything. Uh, for those joining late in the stream, you can... You can interchange the hands on the figurines, which I will do right now for your entertainment. Yeah, we had a whole Michael Jackson situation going on. I don't know whether I got it on the right hand or not. (laughs) Ah, its fingers are sticking into me. How old's this little one? Oh, uh, Alexi is two. Yeah, okay. So it's very uh. <laughs> very trying. Yeah, he's a, he's tears. at an age where he really needs a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Did you <It's> just <laughs> me? You totally just me. thing back on. There we go. Well, they are pretty cool. Yeah. (laughs) Except they fall over very easily. Yeah, they have trouble standing up. But at the same time, they they stand up better than the NECA figurines do. Yeah. No offense. No offense, NECA. (laughs) I feel like NECA figures were more designed to stay in the box. Yeah. As collector items. To be posed in a glass cabinet mm. rather than um, do anything that other people do with them. Yeah. Maybe they. <laughs> he's, he's got his hand on the little. <laughs> on the little back of his head. Get him a little head scratch. <laughs> little cuddle time. Covenant crew were being mean to him, so he's like, it's alright. It's all good. There you go. He's like, it's all right, it's all good. I'm going to end the rest of them. 
<laughs> friends forever. Aww, it's a bit sweet. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a pretty cool like fan art. I feel like someone has done that. The little like hugging. Near yeah. Hugging. I think I've seen one where it looks like the xenomorph is holding a camera and doing a selfie. Oh really? <laughs> and then the neomorph is like going like this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's time for me to go because i got to give my son some milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without fail. Oh, you no. stucked it again, sweetie. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the end of the stream. <laughs> this is Mother and... <laughs> signing off. Bye. <laughs> oh.